Hi, I'm Andy. And I'm Becky. And this is the introduction to the Bailey Adamo 754i eye styling for island bed. Now having an island bed in its own separate bedroom is such a lovely luxury feature. It's like staying in a boutique hotel. And the rest of the layout is based on the Euro style with some key British favourite features. So let's take a look. This product isn't just all about luxury, there are some very key practical features and one of the most dominant from an external point of view has to be this massive garage at the back. It's got doors both sides for easy access and inside some other key features, lash down points so you can secure your equipment when you're in transit. It's got a drainage holes, it's got a heater and some, uh, some hang points which is great for drying wet waterproofs, wetsuits and all that sort of wet equipment. As well as that in here, there's a power charging point, both for 12 volt and 230 volt, and even a light, which you can use obviously to find stuff at night, always very, very handy. And then if we move back to the very back of the vehicle, under here is an Alco chassis extension. That means as an option, you can fit a tow bar to tow your trailer or a small car. And of course, there's also an option to get a bike rack. And both of these are available from Prima Leisure. This is the lounge area. You can see that the driver's seat and the passenger seat have been turned around to make more seating in this lovely lounge. These seats are super comfy, these benches. They've also got the travelling seats underneath them. They're folded away. The, having the travelling seats separately makes them super comfy, but also if you've got longer legs, it's really helpful because you can actually sit in comfort. Now this pedestal table is fixed. It goes up and down at the touch of a button, which is very exciting. And you can also move it into lots of different positions. May I? Yes, you may, thank you. Uh, and you can also, ooh, careful. You can also double the size just by flipping it open. Now Torbs, tech. So technology has become a, a part of everyday life these days, uh, and it, we don't fall short in the demo for that either. There's a uh, it's pre-installed television bracket and next to that is a, a power socket for your TV and also a socket to plug the aerial into. It's also pre-wired for Wi-Fi and um, on the roof we've got that aerial the TV plugs into and a big solar panel. So if you want to go off the grid you're still going to have the power to charge things up in the vehicle. And on the, the, uh, the point of charging points we've got plenty of 3-pin 230 volt domestic sockets as well as a lot of these little USB uh, sockets for charging and stuff up we all have these days like, like our phones. And also if you're a bit like me and you get cold easily you'll be really pleased to hear that there is a Truma Combi system which does the heating and the hot water and it just means you'll be toasty all year round. So one of my favourite things about travelling and camping in my motorhome is that I can take my own food and cook what I want when I want. And the kitchen here is very much set up in this sort of the British style. Uh, nice big sink here, which I love because I can actually get things in it rather than it being so small you can't even get a plate in it. You can actually increase it by ooh, flicking that up. And then here we've got a separate grill and oven. And the oven is big enough because I've done this to actually cook a Sunday roast in. On top of the cooker is a decent sized work surface so you can prep all your food. And under here is your hob with three gas burners and an electric hot plate. And then right next to that is a big full-size fridge and freezer. Perfect, because when I go away, often I'm off-grid or, or quite remote for a week at a time, I can start with all the food that I'll need for the week. And there's even a freezer for ice cream or, uh, or ice for your, your sun, sunset cocktails. And you can, if you like, through Prima Leisure, buy a microwave which will fit in the cupboard above the sink. Moving on then to the bathroom setup. On this side, we've got a domestic style shower uh, cubicle. And then behind this door is the, the toilet with a vanity unit, extra storage, and a small sink. Now these both can be separated off from the main living area here by this door here. But also come back here and I can separate the bedroom from the bathroom area with this door here. Or I can use both doors to separate the bathroom area off and that creates a nice big changing room. Now 
this is my favourite bit about this motorhome. It's this lovely back bedroom with the island bed. Now, the bed is currently in day mode. Hello, Torbs. Hi. You were just relaxing. Yeah, well, you were. Um, it's in day mode so that you can get around the bed, you can get into all the storage, but for nighttime, you would just pull the bed out and it makes a full length bed. Now, speaking of storage, you've got so much of it in this bedroom. Down the sides here, you've got proper wardrobes with hanging rails and by the sides of the bed, you've got not only these really good sized bedside tables, but you've also got little cubby holes in here. Reading books, iPads, that kind of thing can all just go away in there. Now then, you may be wondering where the other bed is because we've got a fixed one. Well, the front uh, bench seats convert into the second double bed and uh, again, a full size double bed. Now, the other thing that I really like about this bedroom is the lighting. I'm a real fan of mood lighting, aren't I? Get you are fed up with me and my lamps. Oh, <laughs> great. So we've got LEDs here above the bed, above the headboard. We've got LEDs all above the, um, the windows and it creates just a really nice atmosphere. You've also got, you've just blinded yourself. With yes, these, I have. You? These lovely reading lights, at, which also have built-in USBs. Very, very handy. There's also mm -hmm. another uh, power socket and, and TV plug-in for your radio uh, here, so you have a TV in your lounge and one in your bedroom. And did you mention the storage under the bed? Yeah, there's loads of storage underneath the bed. It's massive. Hi, this is obviously the cab and this is my seat, the driving seat. Now this motorhome is really easy to drive. It's less than three and a half tonnes, which means that you can drive it on a standard driving licence. It's got a powerful Ford engine. It's 160 brake horsepower. It's also an automatic transmission, everyone. We love an automatic, especially on long distances where you can just pop on the cruise control. Now, another thing that makes it really easy to manoeuvre is the rear facing camera, which connects to this. It's a vision track monitor, and it's just like having a rear view mirror. Great tech. And there we have a brief introduction to the Bailey Adamo 754i. And for the eagle-eyed amongst you, you'll notice that um, it's got the Prima protection pack fitted here, these, these uh, lights. And these have been very, very handy for me, driving down some of those really narrow country lanes in Cornwall, the wing mirror protection. And inside, there's also uh, floor mats as well. So there we go, the 754i, it is luxury living on wheels. <laughs>